Uh, Sophie and Nathan, thank you for an uh, exclusive uh, interview. Uh, when your feet become a pain, Sophie? Um, we first noticed uh, the feet becoming a bit of an issue uh, going onto the raft. Um, they sort of started to become a bit sore then, but it wasn't too much of a problem, just a, bit, a little bit sore. By the end of the raft, um, they were very, very painful, particularly Trevor and Nathan are finding it quite difficult to walk at that stage, and then they sort of, yeah, got worse from there. Okay. If you were out to change something, it would be maybe. Oh, I think in terms of our feet, um, you, like Trevor, Sophie, and I had the, the same foot infection that all pretty much started around the same time. So it suggests to me that it happened at the end of the large trekking section. And I think the difference between uh, what we were doing and our teammate Chris, who didn't get the uh, mm -hmm. foot infection, was is that um, he was more regularly applying a, an antibacterial sort of foot cream yeah. to his feet. Uh, okay. We didn't have any foot problems, so we didn't feel we needed to okay. uh, do anything. But I think racing in the tropics, and now that we are aware of, uh, of what can happen, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I think we would we would be uh, next time around in this environment if we raced in the tropics again. I think we would clean our feet more regularly and uh -huh. and use an antibacterial cream um, yeah. during the race uh, because the big valley coming down from the mountain trail we decided to run because it was a good trail mm -hmm. and I think that uh, the extra heat that that created in our feet w although that is a normal thing for us to do and we felt great and our feet felt great. I think in the tropics, okay. uh, you run the risk of uh, creating an environment where it's very um, easy for the for the bacteria to grow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So remember for the future, yeah. Mm. Uh, what do you think of the duration of the race? Its difficulties. Um, I, I mean, this was definitely um, a very long race. Um, it would have been the longest that uh, I had done, and I think. Um, close to the longest race that Nathan had done, um, had we have gone on to complete it. It does add in extra challenges, um, you know, being that length, you have to be very careful early on and pace yourself very carefully and perhaps, you know, take more sleep and things earlier on in the race than what you otherwise would. It um, does bring into play more um, variables that you can't necessarily control, like sickness, um, and you know, infections and things like that become more common as the length uh -huh. gets longer. So, yeah, it makes it a bit more difficult, I think, when they're longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what bit of time you keep in mind? Uh, I, th I I think yeah. You know, when it comes to the sport, there's there's lots of different um, options, and I, I think that's probably the good thing about adventure racing is is that there's not one sort of rule that says it must be this or it must be that, but for me personally, I I think uh, around sort of four to five days is a good is a good winning time, uh, especially for a world championship race. Mm -hmm, I think it I think it keeps the racing um, faster and closer together, and perhaps more exciting, and more teams finishing um, the course. And um, yeah, I just I just think it's there's, there's probably less chance of of uh, sort of luck coming into the racing when it's a bit shorter and, and closer. I think the, the longer races mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. become somewhat more of a, a race of survival as opposed to a, a race of a sporting event. Yeah, and what do you, be, what do you think about uh, Costa Rica? It's a great uh, country, maybe. Yeah, I think Costa Rica yeah. is, is, a, is a great country yeah. and, and the wildlife is amazing. Um, and some of the places we've been to have been, been very incredible. So I think as a country, um, it's great, but I think that uh, being in the tropical, tropical zone, uh, that uh, yeah. it, it's probably more suited to shorter, shorter racing, yeah. I think. Okay, and uh, so for the next year, are you ready to run for your nation? Ho ho! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. For yeah. sure, yes, we're a New Zealand team, and uh, yeah, we love racing for New Zealand, and it'll be great to see uh, the World Championships, a, a race between uh, countries. Yeah, good. So uh, see you next year. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.